Salutations and good morrow everyone welcome back to another grounded video where today we are hopping in and we are talking the sandbox But what specifically in the sandbox today? We are talking a couple tips that will help you guys be able to survive the sandbox even easier And also some things that you may not know about the sandbox So first of all you guys will notice that my sizzling right now is just not going up Okay, this is because of a few things so that brings us to tip number one that is wearing antlion armor your antlion armor will will keep your sizzling from going up very, very, very slowly. All right, it will go up, but it's gonna go up very, very, very slow. So wearing a good set of antlion armor will always bring up your sizzling very slow. But if you cannot or you do not want to wear antlion armor or you do not have antlion armor, the other four tips that I have for you in this video will really help you guys out. So obviously one is wearing antlion armor. We all know about how valuable antlion armor is. But I also want to point out that there is another thing that can help you guys with your problem of sizzle and that is fresh defense. Every level of fresh defense that you get, it increases your sizzle protection that's right down here. Now, be informed that sizzle protection increases as your level of fresh defense increases. Now, in order to get fresh defense, you need to eat mint pieces which is a very very expensive thing to do by eating one you automatically unlock fresh defense i think it's one five ten for unlocking each of the different tiers of fresh defense but it will increase your sizzle protection as you go so having fresh defense on will lower that sizzle protection build up as well so just go ahead out and get yourself fresh defense because i was using tier 2 fresh defense and antlion armor and you guys saw i was pretty much standing in the sun for over a minute and my um sizzle did not go up at all now you guys for third for tip three you guys know that there are small spots of shade that are all over inside of the sandbox right this leaf that leaf um, there's some umbrellas that shovel some rocks and stuff like that but what happens if you don't have fresh defense and you're not rocking antlion armor then sim then what do you do and you know you have to travel a far distance well you guys guessed it i'm carrying these planks around for a reason you can build your own shade on the go so i would suggest you guys come through maybe pick an area that you see that well, that's broken uh, that you see that you could build something really quick and just pop up a really, really fast grass wall in the direction of where, you know, you're going to need a little bit of shade. So bringing four of them with you, this now is a forever shade point that's going to be in the game that if the sun is on this side, you can hide over here. Or if the sun's over there, you can hide over here in order to get yourself some custom built shade. And yes, this works if you have a base as well. So that leads me to believe that if you really really wanted to you could try and probably succeed to build an entire top more or less a cap to the sandbox to make it so you would no longer have to deal with the burning effects that are inside of the sandbox but be warned that doing this does take out the light that's over here as well. Now, I don't think that this affects the spawning of treasures. It might be harder to see the treasures because when it's dark, it's not as easy to spot the buried treasure that's in the yard or inside the sandbox. So it changes it up a little bit, but it's not like a game breaking change. So if you really wanted to do it, it's going to take you forever to be able to pull something like that off. But it can be done and maybe one day I'll try to do it and see what actually happens in the game. Maybe I'll go into creative mode and cap the whole thing or something. I'm not sure, but we'll see what we can pull off in a future video for that. Okay, so the next one that I want to talk to you guys about is in the same lines as um, say the making your own shade or hiding in things. There are strategically placed den mothers all around the sandbox, okay? Let me just grab my weapon out here. There's strategically placed den mother uh, caves all around the sandbox for you. What are den mother caves? Den mother caves are the ant lion's nests. And I call them den mothers because they just, they're, they're hiding the ant lion dens, they're hiding their ant lion tunnels. In order to find one, just look for the divot. This is a den mother right here. I know it just states ant lion on it but really they're harder than your standard ant lions. So just go through and wipe them out 
And what you'll notice that if you do this, if you could pull this off, and you harvest their remains, go inside of your character's face, you now have another spot of shade. Some of these will give you uh, Mega Milk Molar, some of them will give you Hot Cha Chas, uh, some of them will give you a bunch of salt, but this is another great location to get in, to duck away, and to get away from the sun as well. Okay, and for tip number five, this one is a little less known. Because a lot of people, when they're in here and they're worried about sizzle, they don't open up their con they don't open up their menu. They don't go over to their uh, their statuses, and they don't look down and find out that they have a sweaty perk right here when they're in the sandbox. And a lot of people are like, "Well, Sim, what the heck is the sweaty perk?" Because it doesn't really say in here. Well, let me help you guys out a little bit. What that sweaty perk is? It's not a perk. It's actually a thing that's taking your water away faster so my last tip for you guys is bring extra water into the sandbox because that sweaty perk doubles your reduction time on all of your water your character's sweating they're hot it makes sense thus you need to drink twice as often so keeping an extra canteen or two two if you don't have upgraded canteen but at least one extra canteen on you is very 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 valuable as a little added bonus for you guys we're gonna run over to this oasis over here and i want to point out a couple cool things that are over here for you to use as well so first of all for base building you have your grass and weed stems which is normal you know you just have those all around but the benefit about being over here is a couple things one this water will automatically start taking away all of your perk all of your uh, sizzle that you have it'll make it drain really really fast but two if you have a cantina in the morning these grass blades do gather dew drops on them look there's even one right there so if you drink up your canteen fully but you still have full water come over here hop on some clovers and refill your cantina with the or the canteen i like to call it a cantina because of star wars but your canteen with your um with those dew drops because it really will help you out in the end. Don't forget to take out your ant lines, guys. But that is pretty much all of the five tips that I had prepared for this video. If you guys have more tips, let me know down in the comments because I'd love to know what you guys do to survive in the sandbox a little bit better. Because after all, the grounded community is one of the best gaming communities on the, well, in the world, I will say myself. But thank you guys so much. Please don't forget to leave me that comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. Also, please. Please do not forget to subscribe and turn your bell notification to all because there's some brand new series that are coming out very soon, including Subnautica Below Zero, hint, hint. Uh, that's going to be coming out that I'd hate for you guys to miss. But thank you guys all so much, and I'll see all of you guys in the next one.